it's on social media and stuff. And okay. We've been moving around on Facebook and mm -hmm. social media. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's uh, pretty good. All right, on three. Ready? One, two, three. Nice. And if, like, Men in Black just wiped out all your memories. It works every time. <laughs> Welcome to our panel. This is the first time I decided to, um, based on what somebody said to me last week, do a little slideshow because for sometimes for the people in the back, it's hard to read the names, right? But right. you can see it. Um, you probably know who Greg is. I don't know why. You know <laughs> Greg. Right he is my token male for this panel. <laughs> my Bed. Oh, look, it's not working. Okay, I get that. <laughs> what it out, pull it out. Who said that? Um, Milton nope, Burrow. Uh, <laughs> um, sorry, I was just trying to picture it. Um, so, I had embedded some um, video for some of these people, but their personalities and work kind of speaks for itself. Um, so, unfortunately, Shannon Flynn, who, our television director, couldn't make it today. She had, um, one of her kids got hurt. He's okay, but she has to take him, he's five, he gets hurt. Um, she has to take him to the doctor today, so she apologizes. She's awesome. I might have to add one of her stories, because I, I went to graduate school with her, and um, she has a really interesting story about fortitude and sucking it up to get where you want to be. <laughs> this panel is part of what we call the University Project. It's a collaboration that the California, California sorry, I'm short. <laughs> the, uh, the California State University System, I represent the Entertainment Alliance for the CSU system. It's 23 campuses. It's the largest public university system in the nation, if not the world. It's also the most diverse, most accessible, and has some of the most top-rated entertainment arts programs. Um, so it's my job to shout that out really loud and make people aware that you, and that's awesome if you went to USC and UCLA <laughs> and Northwestern and wherever, um, but also say, hey, you don't have to just look at those the Stanford people, the Yale people, the Northwestern people, the UCLA people. You can look at our programs too because as the most diverse system and as both technology and entertainment have an issue with diversity, you know, make the change you want to see. Start from the bottom up and the top down. And I'm here to help do that and talk about it and show the people why our students are really hardworking and talented too and a lot of people have worked with them. If you need an intern, let me know. Um, so we are discussing with all these amazing creatives and executives a little bit about how they got where they are. In a sense, how did they go from campus to career? How did they make that transition? And a lot of what we might speak about are things not to do. Um, and that and I decided we're going to write a book called Don't Do This <laughs> by Simone and Yvette. We just decided there, that there are the volumes whole... of books, by right. the way. <laughs> yeah, but this is our interpretation. Yeah, exactly. Um, learning by experience. But we have people representing all different aspects of working in entertainment. And what I like to tell students and people starting in their career is the entertainment industry, you know, instead of making widgets, or this irritating dongle that wasn't working for it, right? Um, in a sense, we make content, whatever that may be, whether it's live or digital. Um, but they're companies. They still need lawyers and caterers and sales and marketing and PR. Yes, and your director, your producer, your writer, your creatives, um, your finance people, who's going to do your taxes, who's going to, you know, so. Whatever your interest is and skill sets are, there is a place for you in the world of entertainment. And there's more than just 
you know, the top of what people see, producer, writer, director, star. There's a whole world out there of opportunities and need. So we're slightly representing that. And I know personally some of these people went to college with one of them. And we all started maybe wanting to do one thing, and maybe a lot of you in the room are like that. I studied this, but now I'm a this. It's like, how did you, why, how, what's the story behind that, and how did you make these opportunities happen? So the first person we're going to speak to, we'll 